Quickly for the cardinal sin when the bombs come out when the freaks come in. Hello, and um, this is going to be the Serie A hidden gem um, episode, and um, we're going to start off with Ishak Belfidel just transferred to Inter from Parma. Cassano going the other way. Um, Belfidel on FIFA 13 has only got a Parma card. He hasn't been transferred yet, and has, he's 6-9 rated centre forward. And for some reason, he's French, even though he's Algerian in real life. I don't understand that. Um, 6-7 pace, 72 dribbling. 62 shooting, 43 defending, 66 passing, and 64 heading. He's actually a complete tank on FIFA 13, um, even though he's really slow. If you play him as a set forward in a 4 2 3 1, he's amazing. Um, so I've upgraded his stats um, to six, uh, 76 pace, 80 dribbling, 70 shooting, 46 defending, 74 passing, 70 heading. They're pretty much his head to head stats. I've not really changed it more than that, I've not really changed it, made it worse than that. He is a very, very talented young player. Six foot three, so he, he is looking to be a very good player in the next FIFA. If he's four star skills as well, he would be amazing. Um, next is Medi Benatia. Um, he play, he's just transferred to Roma um, from Udinese. Um, three star week, uh, three star skills, four star weak foot. Um, and on FIFA 13, he had he was 82 rated with 66 pace, 56 dribbling, 35 shooting, 62 passing, 80 heading, and 85 defending. He was Probably the best centre back I've used on the game, apart from like the informed Daniel Agar or something. He he is amazing, and I've upgraded him to an 83. And he did have a really really good season last year. He did get the team of the season. It was 87 rated, but I don't feel that anything above 83 is fair. Um, I think he should he might be around 84, 85, but I put him as 83 just to be safe. So I upgraded him to I added one to his pace. Um, Two to his dribbling, one to his defending, one to his heading, and eight to his passing. And that's all I changed. He's going to be a very, very good card, and he might be very really expensive. And here we go, most expensive player in the Serie A next year, probably. The best skiller in the world, in my opinion, Matthias Fernandez. If this guy does not get five star skills in FIFA 14, I'm going to go to Canada and kill everyone at EA because, oh, that's so, it's so annoying me. The S4. I, I probably won't kill them, I'll, I'll uh, just hit them on the head with a tennis racket or something, because killing is a bit far. But this guy, he's, he should have five star skills, he's the best skiller in the world in my opinion. With Thais Ariel Fernandez, I've upgraded him from an 82 to an 84, giving him plus four pace, um, plus two dribbling, plus five shooting, plus three passing, and... Um, defending and heading don't really matter. He's going to be insane, and it's going to be really fun using him if he's not too expensive with them five star skills. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Please, um, you know, if we can get 17 million likes, then I will do another episode later. Obviously, I'm not really going to do that because I'm not going to get 17 million likes, and I don't want to ask for likes. But yeah, just comment below because I, I like reading comments. Comments are more are better than likes for me. So comment, please. Um, and I will speak to you guys next time, hopefully soon, because I, I have school tomorrow, so I mean, going to get a bit hectic. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.